everybody, it's Paul again with the Carroll family. Well, as you can see, we're in the process of gonna tear out this old wallpaper and we're kind of remodel this bathroom. It's outdated and needs to be done. So we're gonna tear off this wallpaper. I've been working on it a little bit this morning, but we'll get rid of this wallpaper, change out these ugly globe lights, put a better light system in here. Uh, now we've hired someone to redo the whole bathroom because we're going to just convert this into a shower instead of a tub shower combo we're just going to make a one whole shower bring it out and that's about what our plans are paint repaint the cabinets probably refurnish this somehow paint the door paint the trim like i say paint the walls lights we'll probably keep the mirrors up because i think april she really enjoys seeing from different angles um, not sure if we could paint these tiles or not. I really hate to tear them down because they are still in good shape. Uh, we will get rid of this floor at some point as we, in the process. So, but yeah, this is, uh, probably going to be my project for today is at least get rid of the majority of the wallpaper, if not all the wallpaper. So hang in there. We'll see as the process goes. It'll probably take a few days few weeks before I get completely finished but so this will be a long process uh video but take care well let's see it like my mother went wallpaper over wallpaper so once I get the first layer out and come back and get the backing of the first layer I might have to see and do some research because this is old wallpaper this was probably put in when the house was built in 1971 so might just scuff it or paint over it or something I'll have to look into doing some more research because I really don't want to take off. I didn't know there was a second coat of wallpaper. So that's uh, 
right now the project but we'll get like i said we'll hopefully get this wall taken care of here get the shower and start working on this wall and maybe tomorrow I'll finish up the rest of this so all right guys back to peeling off wallpaper two hours later okay let's do a little update here so because i gotta get with jt school start doing his school work and jasmine just woke up and says she's hungry so but so far right now we've got this wall pretty much taken care of lights air conditioning vent all that's taken care of like i say this is just the old uh Hello. wallpaper you still you gotta go get school ready but well, we just got that corner piece in here in the shower and then work on this wall and the front by the mirror so we'll probably do this tomorrow and we'll get this all knocked out and then uh start working on getting it cleaned up for paint what? and go that route so it'll probably like i say it'll probably take a couple weeks or so before this video is actually up and ready to be done but we'll what? just do it slowly yeah, and surely yeah. yep so all right guys let's go get your school and we'll get back here later on bye bye day two filming hey guys welcome back again well today it's day two and we pretty much got all the old wallpaper taken down. they got this corner piece here. It really doesn't matter because they're gonna when they do the shower, they're gonna go all the way up to the ceiling. But I'll go ahead and get it out. And then been working on here. So all I have to do is just take this off, get the wallpaper there, and then get the wallpaper behind the toilet. And that's it for pretty much day two. Uh, I've already started looking at replacing these, but it's going to have to go up top. Uh, it's not like a normal vanity where it would be mounted right in the center. It's up top, so I have to get a different lamp, but like a chandelier type, but not sure. But looks like I'm going to have to take this old, old, the original wallpaper out once I get rid of all the other glue back paper and stuff like that, so... It seemed like it was coming off pretty okay. Uh, it's pretty hard because it's old, like 50 year old wallpaper. So, but that's that's all we got going on for today, guys. Uh, like I say, it's gonna be a long video of uh, working on it here. And like I say, the next step, we'll get all this taken care of and then we'll start painting. And then we'll, once we paint, then we'll deal with the lighting and everything else. So, but right now, that's it for today. Uh, day two, still doing wallpaper. So catch you later on the next days. Bye-bye. Day three. Good morning. Welcome back again. Day three of this. As you can see, we've already got pretty much all the wallpapers taken care of. It's completely shut down or clean. All we have to do is just remove the backing of the old wallpaper the glue paper i guess you call it so but today we'll go ahead and install the new led four light fix track since we have a ceiling mount not a typical vanity mirror uh lighting so that's what's going to be on today's project here and then we'll probably come back over here and once i remove the chain and uh finish up on that side of the wallpaper so it'll be ready i think uh february 8th they're supposed to come with the bathroom to do this and then once they do that and then i'll know where the ending is and then i could start uh painting i might start go ahead and trim for paint but yep so that's it right now i'll get going on here and we'll see what it looks like so take care
nothing. Leave it alone so you don't get. What follows is a brief construction montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. Okay, guys, hey, it's to give you an update. We got the lights up. So, uh, it's kind of as far as I thought it would be. Uh, being LEDs, I really thought it'd be a lot more brighter. But uh, yeah, we got it up. It was tricky, but we got it up. So I think now I'm gonna have to try to figure out to put a light in the shire to really give it more because I think it's gonna be too dark even though we're gonna replace the shower curtain put a clear curtain but uh I think I could run electricity off the fan here and mount a light above and just use the switch but tomorrow's project is I gotta get a light switch instead of this toggle get a light switch and then we'll uh, pull off all this excess uh, wallpaper here so that's so far what's going on on for day three projects of the bathroom. So, <laughs> but if you like this video, thank, give me a thumbs up, guys. Leave me a comment. And if you're new to the channel, please uh, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Uh, like I said, day three, we're looking good. So uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Three days later. Good morning everybody welcome back again hey well yesterday they got the shower in so this is what the new shower looks like wow. <laughs> very good very good job so really nice really nice and wide it seems like compared to the, you know the bathtub shower so we're gonna get a we order a curtain and it should be here today, so we'll put the curtain up so we can give showers. It's supposed to have been 24 hours, let it set up the walls and everything with the adhesive. So we'll be able to take a shower later on today. So what I've been doing this morning is starting to tape everything. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prime this wall today. And because it might need two, three coats. So instead of doing the whole bathroom, because it's a small bathroom in a way. I mean, it, if I could do this today, that tomorrow, you know, and that yet uh, Thursday, finish this one, then it'll be good. And this weekend, we can go get some paint and come back and paint the walls and get the least walls done. And then we're going to change out the colors here and hardware for the drawers. Uh, I'm not sure. I think April said something about doing black down here. I don't know. Uh, I like also to do some research on the tile that you got down here. I got a hair. See what we could do if we could paint over it or do something kind of make that a little bit better looking, not so old and dingy looking. And even got towel down there. So still got a lot of work to do here. Like I say, this is gonna take some time to get everything uh finished but just want to give y'all an update of what's going on like i said i'm going to start mixing and doing the primer and priming this today um and then like i said the rest of it will be uh this week like i say hopefully we get this painted by this weekend and then we could start working on the floor i bought a uh, peel and stick flooring so we'll get that taken care of so all right guys let me get the the paintbrush and paint stuff and get ready here, okay?
Okay, guys. So I went ahead and just did that because I had extra paint still in the pan. I didn't want to just waste it. So I went ahead and got that side. And this side, I'll let that dry because it's it's getting there. It's still a little damp. So let it just really soak up. I'll probably eat some lunch here. And after lunch, I'll come back and uh, put two coats on and then let it sit up for a couple hours and then check it after supper. See how, if it's, you know, soaked into the drywall and if there's anything else. Uh, like I say, I had some old, old wallpaper that just could not get taken down. So this might take three coats. We'll see how it dries and then put the second coat and see what it looks like then. But uh, yeah, guys, this is getting everything ready for paint. Daddy, Jasmine's trying to bite me. Jasmine trying to bite you? Well, maybe you're too sweet. My <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, now it's time for daddy duty. So uh, I'll catch y'all here later on. All right, bye-bye. Later that same evening. What does it smell? Paint. All right, so I just came back and put a second coat on after lunch. Uh, the first coat did bleed through right there. So I had to put a second coat. I might have to put a third coat. We'll see. Uh, but over here, I think this uh, this side looks real good and be ready for uh, paint this weekend or so. We'll see what this coat, like I say, I'm going to do this. I'll do this tomorrow because I still got to do a little bit more trimming up and stuff like that, patching up. Okay, and plus now I got to stop because I got kids that want to do things like this one, want to go pee pee, Jalen's waking up, stuff like that. So, but all right, guys, this is Paul with the Carroll family, still doing the bathroom projects. And we'll uh, go from there. We'll get some more video footage tomorrow and the next days and so on and so on. So remember to like, subscribe, click our notification bell, and please always leave us a comment. I uh, appreciate all the comments I get from you guys and all the love and support y'all give us. So keep up, be safe, and we'll catch y'all here tomorrow. Bye-bye. The next day. All right. What you got now? Hmm? <laughs> Ooh, so stinky in here. Like, let me turn it off. All right. So we got... Oh, that's a strong smell. You need to open this up. Well, I'm trying to get you. the wall. That's why I'm wondering why I got the shirt off. It's oh, so I, hot. are you painting the on the door, the yeah. door too? Yeah, we're gonna paint sure. the door. Make sure you're not. Gonna well, we're it. gonna change out the handles. Mm. So but, you gotta tell them what's going on. So we changed the color to a light gray, and so far looking getting the first coat on. Need to go back up and edge everything. And I didn't put that yeah, one. Yeah, no. Reach it. So. We'll get some tape edge. All I have to do is just put paint that right there. Then that'd be first coat, and then come back with second coat. Yeah. Uh, but I, I mean, it's going on pretty good, nice and you know. On that, I mean, I think with the putting down the primer has helped it really set up good. So I like the color. Yeah. And then, like I said, once we get all this done painted, all this painted, we'll paint the counter, get all this painted, and then we'll work on the floor. <laughs> yeah so that's what's going on right now today just trying to get some of this projects done, knocked out as you can see fat boy sweating and is yeah, it you're, you're, you're like inside the sauna yeah oh yeah i mean painting the doors and stuff like that or and all that that's why i shut the door but it's not that bad i mean I'll, I'll be done here in about five minutes and then let it kind of set up come back check it and then hit it with a second coat Mm -hmm. So we sh this should be done by this afternoon. Uh, I know basketball game is going to come on here. I'll probably watch the basketball game as it dries and check it. So, yeah, that's what's going on today's project. So, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you're not going to take shower after that. Nah. You're just putting... How are you going to reach the back of the toilet? I already did the back of the toilet. You did? Yeah, it's called squeeze the first one. <laughs> it's called do it whatever you want it. And don't care if you're gonna get uh, paint on some other stuff. 
I don't want to see the back of that door. Okay. Uh-huh. No one's gonna see the back of the door. But some someone is being uh some some people that are OCD. Well, if they're OCD and they want to look at behind my toilet and complain, then I will hand them the paintbrush and hand them the paint and say you can do it. <laughs> wow, so rude. You're so rude. You're so rude. <laughs> so. Oh, did you? Okay. I'm in the bathroom. We're in our bathroom now. They did a good job. And we got a transparent shower curtain. So it's pretty cool if you go take shower. It it's makes it just really brighter in here. Right. The dark shower curtain we had, it was I like mean, you're taking a, a shower in the nighttime or something because it was so dark. At least now, when you take a shower, you could actually see yourself. You see yourself, <laughs> see the shampoo, and you know. So. Whew. All right. All right, so get this knocked out, finish up. I got to trim it. I gotta get the brush. Uh, I think there's a new brush downstairs. Yeah. All right, so all right, guys, we'll catch you later on after we do the second coat and everything. Hey, good day, everybody. Well, back to the bathroom. Uh, I've been busy doing other projects, so I haven't really got going, but. Just give you an update. As you can see, we've already got all the walls painted, painted the door, painted the trim, replaced the hardware. Uh, started painting on the cabinets, ran out of paint, so I have to finish up. But I'm trying to figure out what to do with that instead of just leaving them all white. Maybe do the drawers and doors the same color as the wall. Maybe get a shade darker, trim the white, leave the white inside. I don't know, uh, but I want to at least get ahead and paint them white first, kind of give a base coat, and then go back and uh, work on that. So that's what the next project after this. Right now, I primed the floor because uh, I bought some peel and stick, and it would not take to the uh, tile. It didn't seem like it would move and everything like that. So I went ahead and primed it, put a uh, prime coat on it. So at least give it something a little bit more tacky. Hopefully it'll hold. Uh, I think what also we're gonna do is uh, paint the floor black. So when we put the tile on there, if there is any small gaps or separation due to just laying it out, it, you won't see white. Uh, but hopefully we're gonna paint it first today, see what it does, and go from there. Like I say, pretty much the shower looks great. We got a new shower curtain. Um, we'll just get, like I say, the odds and ends once everything's done, paint it. Like I say, after the floor's done here, we're gonna work on the counter, cabinets, and uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. I think I'm gonna try to paint this over, maybe do black tile around it, and then maybe a marble type of black and white marble, kind of like the Shire um, countertop. I think that'll look good. Uh, but everything's looking good with the... Why are you huh? Why are you beating you? Because I'm making a vlog. What are you doing? I'm trying to see you what you're doing. You're trying to see what I'm doing? Jalen is awake. Well, leave Jalen alone. Okay. So, all right, guys. Uh, interrupted by my little boss. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, painting down today. Get that down, and go from there and see what that looks like. Uh, I did have to put some caulk down here where the tile that was when they put the tub. This tile broke, so they just laid a piece of wood. So I had to put uh, some filler in. And I put some filler where some gaps are, like I say. And when I paint, it'll look fine. But uh, I'm not going to worry about that today. I'm going to let that set up and dry good before I paint over it. So my main thing is just kind of get here about to the bathtub underneath the bat or bathtub uh, toilet. And so at least we could still walk in, use the restroom and stuff like that. So, all righty. All right. As you can see, I'm just working around the edge of everything. 
And like I said, I'm going to avoid that. Let it set up cured and tomorrow come back and finish up putting on this coat. Hopefully then also too, this will have plenty of time for it to set up and dry. And then uh, come back with a second coat. Uh, I might do a second coat today, but more likely I'll just let it set up first. One coat, come back and do this tomorrow. It'll be two coat and then it'll be done with that and then uh see how it looks and then uh put a clear coat on it we might keep it like this and return the peel and stick tiles uh i'll leave it up to april you know let the boss make that final call on what she wants to do but uh trying to keep it more a gray black area uh paintings i like to get is some black and whites uh guy hit me up on uh email about doing a 28 by 28 by 36 canvas painting uh image so i sent him some pictures and he would do it free as long as i do a shout out so if he does it we'll get him um, we'll put it out here we'll show it and we'll do a shout out to his uh company and in one of the videos or so so but yeah let me get finished painting all i gotta do is do this trim work and then come and start uh painting in the middle so i'll catch you guys later all right 24 hours later hey good afternoon or good afternoon everybody well well this is what we did yesterday uh i gotta come back and touch up but we painted the floor we got it nice and coated i'm gonna put a clear coat over it and see how it looks if it doesn't look that's what we like we'll go ahead and put the peel and stick floor on it uh what, what i'm gonna do today is just go touch up the walls where some of the black bled through the tape and touch up where april put a mat down and pulled up all the paint from yesterday that wasn't really fully dried i guess so that's all we gotta do today is just basically touching up clear coat it and then i'll probably start painting the cabinets and start getting this stuff ready for the next project to do so we're coming on right along guys so we'll talk to you later bye bye hey everybody can good evening well give y'all an update what's going on uh, as you can see i've started working on the back tile i just put one fresh coat on it it's gonna probably take multiple coats but look at this floor look at that shine on it the floor really turned out really, really good. So I am extremely happy how this floor turned out. So everything's looking good. Got all the junk in the shire. So yeah, and now I'm gonna do the same with the tile here. I'm gonna just make it a black one, put a clear coat over it, make it really shine. Got the cabinets white. That's finished up, new uh, hardware for that. And then we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do with the countertop. Might do a gray countertop or might just do a white, not sure yet. But uh, after we do the tile here, pretty much all the next we have to do is just replace the hardware, bathroom stuff, tile racks, uh, toothbrush holders, stuff like that. And put some artwork, get some paintings up in here, making it really look like a bathroom. And we are done with this uh, project. So like I say, I got the first coat on, I gotta go get a brush and 10 pin it in. And then I'll come back, let it dry, I'll come back and put a second coat on, probably maybe third coat. We'll see how it looks uh, and then go from there. But so far pretty easy, but yeah. One eternity later. Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Paul with Girl Family again, guys. Just dropping in. Finally got the bathroom done. Uh, still need a little here and there type things, but pretty much got everything done, as you can see. Got the new paint, paint the wall, or anchors, new face plates, just redid everything. Door handle. Just took the old countertop. I just what I did was just paint it the countertop and put a clear coat over it. Yeah, it's a little rough, but you know what? 
it's fine until we figure out something else down the road to it. We'll probably redo the whole uh, makeover at one point in time before we sell it. But this will be fine for right now. Like I say, I'm not the best, but to do it yourself, hey, I'll take pride in it. It's just me and April and the kids and anybody that comes over and visit us. So, But I put it up my side and then, of course, April's side. Uh, we'll show fill up all this and probably more. Uh, we'll probably get a new sink at some point in time or a faucet at some point in time. I'd kind of like to get a higher one, not this old one. Going to replace the toothbrushes. They're, that's nasty old. And like I say, I get, get this paint or uh, print from Amazon. Excuse me, guys. Got it at Amazon. Got our names. I thought it was pretty cool being black and gray. Went with the room. Uh, I got to figure out what I'm going to put on this wall and, you know, some decor decor and then like I say the bathroom. So yeah, this is, uh, what I've been doing for the last couple weeks. Uh, just periodically coming in here and doing as much as what I can with the three kids is what I possibly get. I got to clean off this mirror and stuff. I got paint, but oh, well, that won't be no problem because the mirror actually needs to be clean anyways. So, but yeah, guys, I hope y'all enjoy following me along with the bathroom. We did the, we, we just painted over the, the tile and just put a clear coat over it. So that came out pretty good. And, you know, that's all I could do right now for our budget that we had on this. We didn't want to go overboard. Like I say, dad spent to redo the whole shower. So we just... Did what we can. We just put some fresh paint down, painted the walls, got rid of the wallpaper. I think it really honestly looks good and a little bit more modern than what it was. So, but please guys, leave me a comment what you think about the bathroom overall because uh, I had before and after. So leave me a comment. Remember to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, click on that subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and guys this is paul uh signing off catch you on the next video bye bye